Hey everybody, Chuck here with CyberSmart. Today I'm going to do a little short uh, video on WordPress themes, your choices in choosing a theme when for your small business, and also how to uh, upload one and install it real quickly. It's not very hard at all. Um, the importance of this is that as a small business owner, you're, you're really busy and you don't have time to learn how to become a web developer. And WordPress is fantastic because uh, it offers a lot of versatility. You got basically three choices. You can either get a, a free theme, a pro theme, or a custom theme. This is the WordPress free theme directory, and there's just a few here, but there's literally thousands of free themes that you can choose. Not just from this directory, there's a lot of different websites. If you do a Google search, and you can preview it, or you can download it immediately. Now what you would do after you find a theme that you like or you want to try out, you're going to want to experiment. Each one of these free themes, sometimes every one of them does does and does not do certain things. Okay, so there are limitations to the the uh, free theme. But yeah, there's literally thousands, and you could just do a Google search and look around. You could probably get lost. You can download. Uh, let's get out of this. So that's the WordPress.org free theme directory. I'll give you another example. This is some friends of mine, and, and uh, they live in the Chicago area. And I ins I got them set up. I, I do setups where I install everything and get your plugins all set up and, and a lot of your basic SEO things under control. And this is a free theme that they picked out that worked real well for a flooring company. It's actually got wood planks behind it, and uh, that worked real good. So yeah, there's a lot of free choices. Then um, if you're going to, and this is what I recommend doing, is buying a, a pro theme. I use iThemes. That's what you'll find here at CyberSmart. And one of the things I like about, well, there's a lot of things I like about this theme, but let me just show you. We're going to go. It shows up here at the on the admin bar automatically. And what I like is the flex layout. Check this out. All the widget areas can be uh, custom uh, set up to where you want them. The options in here are crazy, man. Sidebar, either side, one. This is how I got it set up. A wide widget at the top, two widgets on the bottom. Feature bottom. Then it shows you here a little preview of how, it, how it's set up. Th this is fantastic. Um, what else does this have? This theme also comes with a billboard, which is really, really cool, where you can put photographs and then link them. You could use it for putting your uh, advertisements, or I have a uh, counseling site I manage here in Chicago, and, and all the clinicians, their photographs are in there. And when you click on the photograph, it goes to their actual page there on the website. Um, most of these themes, I think I paid 79 bucks for this. Um, I bought a pack, actually. Uh, it was several hundred dollars for multiple multiple theme pack. If you're a web developer, these are great. Um, you can I think there's like 14 different ones that come in the pack with different colors and, and some different options. Now and then the third choice is a, is a custom WordPress uh, theme and template, whatever you want to call them. Um, or you could buy one of these and have someone tweak it if you wanted some special changes. But I don't know much about that because I've never seen the need for it because between the free themes and uh, the pro themes you can get, boy, I mean, they give you everything that you need. So that's your three choices, and like I said, I recommend, and I use iThemes. Um, I'm not an affiliate with them. You can find them online just by doing a Google search. There's a couple other well-known and respected companies out there that make really good professional themes. Um, iThemes is coming out with a theme here, I think, the 16th, where... Now, when you do this and you set it up like this, it's throughout the entire website. That's one of the limitations. The new theme they got coming out, you can set up each page individually. It's really an incredible theme. Um, I think that's, I don't know what the price is on that. I'm going to be getting that as well and, and testing that out. They really do it. Corey does a great job with these. So, yeah, I recommend doing that. And, it, you know, it, if you're serious about using using a website for advertisement for your business and you're going to use WordPress and you're already 
saving thousands of dollars by not having a web developer, you know, three, five, I mean, people pay crazy amounts of money to have a custom website. And uh, there's really no need to do that in most circumstances because WordPress is just killer. So no matter what you choose, um, you're going to have to install it. And it's all the same process, so I'll go through that real quick. So if you got your free theme or your purchase theme and you've uh, downloaded it onto your desktop, you've unzipped it, and it's sitting there in a folder ready for you to go, you would uh, log into your, well, wrong screen, right here first. This is the Bluehost C panel, control panel for Bluehost. Um, other uh, web hosting providers have C panel as well. And if you just scroll down right here, you'll see unlimited FTP. Okay, this is what's great about Bluehost. You don't have to have a FTP client on your desktop. It's provided in the C panel. And when you click on that, it's going to take you here. And it's going to have two windows. This over here is all your folders and files and stuff on your desktop. And this is what's on the server. Okay, I got a lot of websites. Um, but what you would click on is public HTML. Double click on that. It's going to open up that folder. Um, let me find a different website here. I got so many of them. Same thing. Okay, and then when that opens up, you're going to find WP Content. Double click that. Then you're going to see your plugins, your themes, and, and other folders. You want to make sure that it's open. Okay, and here's the themes I have in here. I got Classic, Default, um, Flex Red, and Flex Dark are some of the themes I have installed in here. You want to make sure that this is highlighted not one of these when you're installing it. Then you would go to your desktop, you would find your themes. Well, where are my flex themes? And you would find which one you want. If it was flex dark, you would click on it. And then you would just click this and it's going to upload it. Okay? Once that's done, you go back to your WordPress blog. And if you have the admin bar installed, which I recommend, it's a great plugin, you would go to Appearance, and in that drop down menu is Themes. And what you're going to have, see, these are all the themes that I have in here right now. These are the stock themes, this one and this one, that they come with WordPress right out of the box. And then I have various other ones. And then all you do is you, you click on the theme. If you want to preview it, I'll take a second here to preview it. And you can see what your website would, would look like. And you can either activate it. If you don't like it, you can close it down. So you can surf and uh, find some free ones and upload a bunch of them at the same time and do that process and then and then go through them. But that, that's basically it. And then when you would return to the site, it, the, the theme would be changed. So those are your three choices, the free ones the pro ones, or a custom theme. And again, I recommend just going with the uh, professional ones. They're pretty good. And then maybe if you wanted, spending a little bit of money to have it tweaked for something special that you wanted it to do. So that's it for this podcast. Peace, and see you next time.